Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Uh, this is going to be for Aquarius for the second half of your August from the 16th to the 30th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at the uh, person that you're dealing with here. Uh, basically, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch to roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about Aquarius. Aquarius and love and the person that they are connecting with. What's going on with Aquarius and love? and the person that they're connecting with for the second half of their August from the 16th to the 30th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Knight of Swords here and the Three of Wands. Okay, seems like this person wants to plan a future here with you. Could be that this person's making plans to come visit you too if you guys are at a distance from each other, if this is a long distance relationship. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like if this person does come visit you, they will stay for like three weeks or something like that, okay? Or three months. Uh, if this is abroad, you know, I feel like this person might stay three months to kind of like just burn out the visa and then, you know, after that they just leave. Okay, Knight of, Knight of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, and the Three of Wands here. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Seven of Cups in the reverse here. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. And the uh, Four, yeah, whoever this is, this person is tr truly being honest with you about them not wanting anybody else but you because the seven of pentacles is a representation of options here what the seven of, uh, not the seven of cups uh, is a representation of you know options here and i feel like this person with the seven of cups in the reverse they don't want anybody else but you yeah they're seeing you as someone who's very caring who's very nurturing who's very sensitive who's very empathic and who's very giving here who's very generous here and i feel like this person loves that about you we have the ten of pentacles here in the four of wands this person wants it all here with you aquarius okay the ten of pentacles here and the four of wands here i mean this could be indication that this is a twin flame connection it doesn't have to be it just could just mean that you guys have a strong soul tie here the knight of swords uh, we have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces here. We have the Three of Wands here and the Lovers here, Gemini energy. This person knows what they want. I feel like this person's trusting their own, own intuition, trusting their higher selves here. They want you. And this is a strong soulmate connection here or twin flames or some sort of strong soul tie here. The Queen of Cups. We have the Judgment card, Sagittarius energy, the Seven of Cups in the reverse here and the Magician here. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person is making a decision a decision that they're not going back on they're just like decisively choosing you here and i feel like with the magician here they're they're gonna make they're gonna make it happen with you yeah they're gonna make it happen with uh make it happen here with you uh perhaps you're trying to make it happen with this person or that both of you guys are trying to make it happen judgment sagittarius energy the magician gemini virgo the ten of pentacles here we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse here and the Fool. Yeah, whoever this is with the Eight of Swords in the reverse here. You know, I feel like this is an individual that's definitely conquering their fears here. They're definitely taking a huge leap of faith here with you, okay? So the uh, Eight of Swords in the reverse here and the Fool, Aries energy, Aquarius energy, the Ten of Cups here, the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this person does want to give to this connection here. I do feel like this person wants to give energy and build this connection up to a Ten of pentacles ten of cups and the four of wands here and i feel like this person wants to work together here with you as a team okay what else do we have here for aquarius the person that aquarius is dealing with here what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards aquarius for august second half of their august from the 16th to the 30th we have the emperor aries energy wow we have the eight of pentacles here like I said, this person's definitely putting in effort. This person's definitely step, stepping up to the plate. This person's manning up, womaning up, putting their big girl pants on, big boy pants on. And they are, yeah, they're all in. They're all in. They're all in. We have the death card, Scorpio energy here, and the two of wands. 
So any sort of indecisions that this person has had, any sort of options that this person has had, had those are over. Okay, the death card, Scorpio energy, the two of wands here, six of wands. This person's definitely seeing victory and success here with you. This person's definitely really passionate about making this happen here. Okay, you know, I feel like with the Knight of Wands here, I feel like this person's definitely not playing around or messing around. This person's serious here. You know, so if, if, I feel like if you've gone through a period with this individual where this person was exploring other options and dating other people here, like I said, that's coming to an end. They're realizing that with the Sun card here, you are their happiness here. Okay, with the Sun card, uh, uh, Leo energy here. Yeah, I do feel like any sort of stressful situation that this person has created here with you, I just feel like this is over. Okay, because I do feel like it's been very stressful because of not knowing where you stood with this individual. But like I said, I do feel like uh, Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I do feel like this person is all in. I, I feel like this person's feel, feeling very strongly about it. I do feel like this person is also very appreciative that you are patient with them here. And I feel like this person does not want you to let you down. And if this person has let you down, I feel like this person's apologizing for it. Okay? Five of Cups, the Strength card here, Leo Energy. What else do we have here for uh, Aquarius? Outcome and advice. What else does Aquarius need to know, look out for, work on here? Wheel of Fortune. Oh, and the Hangman. Seems like this person's has been enlightened here seems like this person does not want to miss out on an opportunity here with you and like i said i feel like this person's definitely taking uh, taking action here and, and like i said they're all in they're just all in okay uh the hangman piscean energy we have the king of wands here aries leo sagittarius energy uh we have the seven of swords here King of Wands, Seven of Swords. You know, I'm not getting a very deceptive energy from this person. You might feel like this person has been deceptive with you because of them exploring other options here. I'm feeling like more so with the uh, Seven of Swords here, I feel like this person's really protective of you, okay? Or that they're really protective of this connection or that they're seeing the value of this connection now, okay? Let's just clarify that too uh, in a little bit just to make sure here with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person's be definitely being really honest here with you. You know, I feel like any sort of heaviness regarding this connection here i do feel like this person is very interested in resolving it okay any sort of heaviness any sort of hurt that this person has caused you i feel like this person is trying to make things right here with you okay this person's definitely really deeply invested into this okay uh they're definitely deeply invested into this you know with the seven of pentacles here it could have it could be a situation that they learn from the mistakes here okay king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo seven of pentacles here the king of wands we have the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Swords here, um, and the Six. Yeah, this person just wants to move forward. Yeah, this person's definitely really, truly honest about wanting commitment here with you, wanting to take things to the next level. Like I said, um, Aquarius, this person is all in. This person's all in here. You know, I feel like this person's not going to walk away from this connection again and, and, you know, go over to the other side of the grass anymore. You know, I feel like this person definitely has deep regrets here. You know, like I said, any sort of pain, any sort of hurt here, I feel like this person's looking for your forgiveness and they're looking to heal this connection here and rebuild this connection here with you. Okay, so uh, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.